So I haven't played it in three days. And I'm not tired of the game, but it's the mods that are keeping me in, honestly. If I if this was vanilla Fallout and I didn't have the mods. Oh my god! God damn it! Ah, I had to reload. I hate these things when I don't have enough guns. If I didn't have the mods, I would not be having nearly as much fun. So I have a weird vlog and fallout. My game says it takes two or three minutes to finish. That's weird. I don't know. I've never heard of that bag. Uh, I didn't hear anything about delays. If it is a delay, that might mean they're working on a new engine. And Ponko, that's just a stupid thing to say, in my opinion. Because what if they actually change? What if they take the feedback for once and do something? But. Far Harbor is not justifying my season pass. I want Nuka World to be $20, $25. Wait, I don't understand why though, Pi. Oh, because you're not, you're not, you, because you don't think that, uh, I, I get it. Because you don't think that the Wasteland workshops are worth anything. Well, I, I bought the season pass for $30 back before it was 50 so I don't really care. <laughs> This is a big DLC. Oh, you mean, oh, you're talking about New World? I mean, who knows? Uh, there's no... Ah! You say apparently, right now there's not really any information on where the next Elder Scrolls is gonna be. There's rumors it's gonna be in Valenwood, there's ruin rumors it's gonna be with Argonians, there's rumors it's gonna be with, uh, elsewhere in Khajiit, so there's rumors it's gonna be with, um... Actually, those are the only ones I can think of right now. There, it, it, there's a bunch of rumors, but right now nothing's confirmed. Yeah, I wouldn't listen to anything you say, Dust, though, because you you rate everything poorly. I wouldn't listen to anything you say, Dust. No offense, but you rate everything poorly. We ain't alone here. I have no idea what this what Far Harder would be like without mods though. I have a friend who shits in every game that still plays for 100 plus hours. Shit every game because I have the best game ever, I've seen the best game ever made, nothing even close, everything else is disappointment. I wouldn't consider Gothic 2 the best game they ever made, just so you know, Bonka. Sorry, but, uh... For Harbor without mods is boring. You're not playing on survival mode, Dusk. That's also another thing. <laughs> Survival mode really makes or breaks it a lot. You're not playing on survival mode. How long will Fallout 4 last for in popularity? Once mods come out, it'll probably last as long as New Vegas because some of the modders are making some really crazy stuff. My Dark Souls 3 saves are corrupt. What happened, Lena? How'd that work? Oh, shit. Oh! Really? That's all the damage I did? Fuck. Fuck. Fuck! Hang on. Available would be really cool. Oh! 
Legendary, legendary, legendary. Oh my god! My arm! I think a fast round system would ruin the point of survival myself. Oh shit. That's actually a really good gun. Yeah, fast travel is dumb. Because like um, right now, there's not too much to see, but once a, uh, a patrol mod gets added, where more stuff's, like, all around the game, and there's more things to, uh, to deal with, it'll be much cooler. Why don't I peek around the corner and use the little lean feature? Hmm. Because I'm shit. <laughs> Got it. The lean feature, most of the time when I use it, I end up getting stuck, and I just start shooting collision meshes. It's a really nice gun. I've never used this gun before. Locks really strong. Is there already a mod for that? What is it called? You should. You don't think they should have cameras? Doesn't they get the pace like so? Um, this is my uh, take on it, and this is a mod that I want. I want a mod that allows you to fast travel between supply lines. Now, now. That is already out. However, I want random events along the way, and I want consumption. So it uses it. Time passes. You get hungry. You you know that's a. Now this is this is the thought process for it. You know, you have to set up settlements in order to enable fast travel, which is pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna die if I don't. I'm gonna back up a little bit. Oh, I saw War of the Commonwealth. That just adds tons of enemies any everywhere. It's like Civil War, isn't it? Or, or uh, I can't remember what it was called for New Vegas, but it's just like it adds enemies everywhere. I, I want like immersive patrols for Skyrim. See, like you need a fast route system that's like you, that has some sort of requirement to do, like. It adds, but is that all? Yeah, is that all it adds? Yeah, more spawns. See, that's what I don't want. I don't want more spawns. I don't want to be constantly in combat. I just want to see more things outside. I looked at that mod before. More spawns, more FPS hampering. At least the mods I've seen with them. Boston robot. My officer uh, came for a tron decided to sell truck and I have permission. We were fighting Trapper, he started glowing, charged them, and boom, he's dead. I didn't let my save. He's had a lost for my hour progress. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty funny. <laughs> really enjoy the food water system they have for it. Ah. Well, I mean, Pi, don't you? Yeah, just use my. What do you, what do you play on, Pi? This one. Try that. I just looked this one up. This isn't the one I wanted to do. Uh, or, 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 or. Um, 
is this the one that restricts the supply lines? No, there's one that restricts it to supply lines. Hold on. Hmm. Journey. Survival, settlement, fast travel. This is the one. Look at both those. Let me know if you like either of them. I was looking at Journey. Journey looks okay. Uh, actually, I'm gonna link that one to my friend, too. I got really off- people on YouTube are gonna be like, what the fuck? Cause I got really off topic. I just started talking about Fallout lore and shit for the last, like, half an hour. I apologize to people on YouTube. <laughs> but it's okay, it was all Fallout related, so at least it wasn't off topic. <laughs> Um, let me go find somewhere to save before I trigger this fog crawler. Because I don't want to die and lose a bunch of progress. Let's go back. I like teleport idea, but considering the institute could teleport from one area to the next by like going back in it feels a bit strange. Yeah. What if you don't have an institute save though? Or what if you don't choose the institute, you know? That's like, you know. Something else? I don't know. I never did an institute, so I don't know what you're talking about. But is that the relay or whatever? I, I never did institute. I guess we'll clear this out. Might go with Journey, but I was hoping for a system that cost me a cap strap. Something has disadvantage, I'll travel. Well, I mean, this one has... Uh, this one's more like an upfront disadvantage. Oh my god! Did I just find 700 caps in a fucking chest? I've never seen that many in one chest. Like, that's not that much, but it's just weird to see. Ooh. Uh, it's more like an upfront cost with Journey. But there's like a few different ones, which is kind of cool. Or no, no, Journey's not that one. Um, I'm talking about the immersive fast travel, and that was an upfront guys. Journey's the one where it's just supply line travel. I was thinking the wrong thing. Try to tell Longfellow apart from the others. I should put Longfellow in like bright yellow clothing. What? Ain't you had enough yet? Oh my god. He has a lead I think that his weapon is the legendary is laser weapon, because trappers don't normally have those. See, like, the only way I would ever use a mod that gives you fast travel just for paying caps is if there were random events along the way. The reason I was okay with that in Skyrim is because, um... Uh, because it was already in the game as part of the lore. I mean, I guess I don't really care about the lore too much, do I? But, um, there, there is an upfront cost to the, uh, the journey one. You have to actually build settlements. Why are you facing somebody legendary? Maybe it's because I'm higher. I mean, what's your level? Is it the level, maybe? It's definitely because I'm on survival, but maybe there's also a level thing with it? Maybe I'm just really unlucky. Ow. Oh, God. Oh, God! The fucking grenade went through the window. God damn it. I'm all 36 or 37. So, it's not that far of a difference. I don't know. He's on PC, or he's on console, by the way, bag. He can't use console bands. Uh, health perks? I don't think so. Yeah, let's look there. No. This. Health perks. What health perks are there? I don't even know. Oh no, I don't have my fucking violent gun anymore, do I? Oh. I gotta go get that again. It was this way. That was a really good gun, I really liked it. Be great with using caravans more and make Bunker Hill more useful. See, in my first survival run that wasn't survival is because, um, or what I did was I only traveled via, via, what is it called? Holy shit. Via supply lines, so. Now, I really want a caravan thing too, that's why I like Journey so much, but. 
I don't think Journey's enough anymore. I think it needs to be even harder to use. I got Lead Belly because I'm on survival mode, dude. Lead Belly's amazing on survival. I can eat raw meat, I can drink water. Of course I got Lead Belly, dude. It's... Holy shit, I don't wanna die again. Yeah, on survival mode, Lead Belly's kinda required. Well, it's not required, but it's pretty nice to have. There you go. Life Giver and Toughness gives you more health. Honestly, I lose my health so quickly. I don't think Life Giver is really worth the points. Because my health can go away so quick. I, don't, I never. That's why I never got Life Giver. I just worry about getting armor and shit. Maybe once I run out of things to get, I'll get Life Giver. I want Fortune Finder again. Now I gotta remember that Legendary was... The cell was loaded, so he should load again. Well, no, there's a chance he won't. He was over here. I hope he loads again. I want that gun. Yeah, I know what toughness does. I just never got it. I figured that damn like I figured all that stuff would be like kind of useless in survival because you take so much damage. But I think I'm wrong. Oh, this is I keep thinking this is suppressed. Like I need to use this more. I keep thinking it's suppressed. I mean, sim packs are so common, I never need health regen. Oh yeah, the Trapper Helmet's pretty cool. Ah. Toughness actually is really good in survival. I might get it then. I always go for damage perks first. Maybe I should go for something like that. Damn it! The legendary dude's not in here. Maybe he, like, is patrolling around. Man, I really wanted that gun again. That was such a fun gun to use. I'm like really upset. There's no bed in here, so I can't really be upset myself for not saving though, so that's good. All right, quit your hide. Is there a bed in here? Nope, okay, so I can't really be upset with that. Because there was no bed. I didn't have a chance to save. Wow, 50 cal. Oh, I never read this. Mira, I made your stuff with those damn travers keep sniffing around, and I'm not going to pick a fight while I'm outnumbered. I took the stash and buried in that old grave. You know the one, bring a shovel. Simbax are super common. Last time I checked, I had 348 inventory. I got about 30 at any given time. Won't be able to pick this. So you can go to any buy wire. Yeah, um, uh, here's the thing, though, Apothely. And this is something I, w I hope a mod comes out for if there's not one already. Lead Belly doesn't protect against diseases. And I feel like it should, honestly. I feel like any diseases gotten by consumption should be negated. I mean, you can still get diseases from getting hit and from getting, you know, just by having low immunity and that kind of shit. But the thing is, you don't, you don't ever... Or, uh, I can drink water and I can get, like, sick. I'm drinking water. Dirty water. Which is kind of, you know, with Lead Belly, it's kind of dumb. They should have added that functionality on the Lead Belly. Belly. Didn't say it. Wait, what do you use to set a Simpack, Senpai? Do you use, like, those glowing blood packs or something? Or do you use any consumable for healing, or what? I imagine you use something. And I have the suppressed gun, so we can be a little bit quiet. I use food. Yeah, but food don't. But food's so slow to heal. Do I have a? I don't even know. Do I have a stealth boy? No. If I did, it'd be really nice. Whoa. Oh, fuck that. That shouldn't have triggered everyone. This gun is so good, though. I love it. Holy shit! That's a shotgun. And it's legendary. 
I should have been more mindful. Oh my god, eight missiles. What did I do? Do you still use weapons for the center or do you make a merge patch? Um, I have both. Oh! Oh, AK-2047. You can check my mod, my, uh, Fallout... Oh my god. Holy shit! That's a harpoon. You can check my Fallout mod list. And my load order's on the bottom, with the merge patch and that. I die so quick? I mean, I, I mean... Even with damage threshold up, I still died about this fast in uh, in the old survival mode. So I mean, it seems the same to me. Here we go. Well then, what's next? All my shits focused on damage. Ooh. This armor looks kind of cool. Trap armor looks interesting. It's like really kind of like thick. It's kind of cool. Oh my god, look at that harpoon. <laughs> Don't see me up here. Assassin armor is less damage from humans. I might go back and grab it. Eyes open, something's stalking us. Right now I don't have the carry weight, so I just want to clear everything out. It's a synth armor. My right arm, isn't that taken up by a dreadnought piece? Uh, it's taken up by combat armor. And it's also something that gives you extra strength with radiation, so I don't know. I guess I'll take it. I'm not sure if that's really going to be better than getting extra strength, though. I mean, right now, it's not. It gives me, like, up to 245 carry weight when it's activated. So. Uh... Go drink some water. Alright, Dusk. Have a nice night, man. Thanks for dropping by. I'll see you later. Hmm. Hold that. I don't know why I grabbed the wrench, too, but okay. Where'd the harpoon guy go? Was there a harpoon guy around here? Where'd he go? Um, did he fall in the water? I don't know where he went. Oh, there he is. Uh, not too much on him, I really want. I'm gonna drink. Mmm. Radiation water. Um, uh, okay. I was reading s some Steam chats. What the fuck? What is going on over there, Bethesda? That doesn't look good. Wait, where's Dogmeat? Is he down? Did I not pick him back up? No? I don't know what happened to him. I better go save the game, though. Because, like, I keep dying right after this point. Let's go get in there and save. I thought, obviously there's going to be something in here to save. What's your least favorite Fallout story? Mm, this one. Hands down, this one. If it uh, See, like, it's not... Uh-oh. I am stuck. It's not overly terrible. It's how it's implemented not that tight. pisses me off. If it wasn't so intertwined with everything to the point where... You know, like, you're basically always on this, the hunt for your kid. If it wasn't like that, if you could just be, like, a normal wastelander, ignore that story, I wouldn't mind it, honestly. 
And if we're just talking about that, then maybe Fault New Vegas was the worst story, because Benny was boring as fuck. Well, I mean, I like Matthew Perry and shit, but I didn't like the story. It was kind of boring, but, you know. But the fact how it's implemented in this game, it makes it the worst, like, by far. If not, it's the second worst, because it's still boring as shit. If, if there wasn't a kid, maybe it wouldn't be so boring. It's just, I don't know. It just feels boring. I keep forgetting I have a fucking Let me lighten your load. tent on me. I have a tent. I, ha I can deploy a tent, Jono. You don't need to sleep at a house. You have a tent. You idiot. God damn it. I always forget I have that tent. Alright, I'm ready to do this. Um, I wanted to put it closer, but okay. is so good oh my god what do you drop uh an acrobat leather piece no yeah see that see that's what i mean about the intertwined like if it wasn't like that it'd be fine but it's like that did i put more meat into the water i'm guessing i didn't see it pop up but i'm guessing what what happened oh we didn't kill them all there's still one left There he is. Hey. Hey, asshole. Oh, is he fighting? What is he fighting? I shouldn't just... Uh-oh. He's actually fighting someone who has a name. And I just shot the person who has a name. You okay, Donnie? <gasps> what? Myler Queen, I'm trying to talk to this dude. Hey. So the doc asked me to witness. So I'm witnessing. Oh, I see. I don't think there's too much water, though. I still think it's pretty fun. I mean, Shivering Isles is kind of a... I mean, I remember being a clusterfuck. We get furious boxing gloves that's oh my god like oh my god i guess i'll take it to sell what's it worth 50 oh my god what what is this i like shivering isles it's just i felt the area was more of a clusterfuck like it was kind of hard to navigate at least in my opinion I, I was young when i played shivering isles though when I went back for it, where my Oblivion Let's Play, not that long ago, but, you know, decently long ago on YouTube, um, I was older, and I still got kind of lost. I don't know. I didn't really like this the area. Like, I like the whole setting. I like the atmosphere of it. It just felt put together weird. Yeah, the layout just felt weird to me. I didn't like the layout. Is it me, or is it the overdoing secret means? What do you mean? Like, using too many? No. I don't know what- I mean, nah. Two minutes seem fine. Ah! Well, here's the lumber place again. Just keep heading east.
mean, why would they have a break? Uh, super mutants are like one of the main enemies you expect to see in a Fallout game. I wouldn't. I don't think they need a break. I mean, why not? You know? Would you rather fight just trappers? <laughs> I'd rather fight super mutants than trappers. Trappers just glorified raiders. I don't have a problem with super mutants. I think they're fine. Alright, bag. Good luck editing the vid, man. I'll claim we're one of the main enemies because they got staled for a while. They weren't one of the main enemies. What game? Fallout 3? They were not one of the main enemies of Fallout 3. They were a late game enemy. Oh my god. I am so far over here, in the middle of the freaking lake. What's up, Lydia? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Lost? Welcome to the stream. So you guys see any slimes in a DQ game? I, I wouldn't say Enclave was a main enemy. Enclave was a late game enemy. It's completely different. Fallout 2, late game. Fallout 3, late game. They're late game enemies. There's That's a different thing. Super mutants aren't late game enemies. They're more... That you can see them at any point in the game. I mean, Fallout 3, you saw them all the time.